Oof. Are we live? I believe we are. Let me just move the thingy. Oof. What a day so far. Jesus only came in to do a video. I haven't sat down yet. <laughs> who we got on? Don't forget to give permission to stream you out so we can see your name and let's see who you are commenting. We've got two up here. Foxy! Foxy's given permission. <laughs> Carl's given permission. Very good. And Facebook user <laughs> who's not given permission. I don't know who Facebook user is again. In order to uh, have your name come up, you've got to give the permission to it to, to know who you are. Like. I'm doing very well. I'm just out of breath at the minute. Let me get a slurp of this. Oh, Stephen Brentnell, good afternoon. So what y'all been up to? Have we got any of our... Well, there's only a couple of people on. I'll wait till we get going. I've got the phone here. Because it's been ringing its bleeding head off. <laughs> because there's no book. We've got all the lead then. I thought I was drunk. That's a big good one, in. Permission. <laughs> stuck at work. Oh, you're stuck at work. I did need that. <laughs> need this and all. Oh, thank the frigging Lord. Good afternoon, Sarah. Good afternoon, Grant. I'll do the, the joiny bit in a bit in a while. Yeah, I'll put the link up on the screen again, if I can work it out. <laughs> I've actually did a little recap. I came in yesterday. E bye gum, Yarper. Barry's how are you, Barry? Um, I did. I came in yesterday to do a little video. You know, I was supposed to have done it last week, but I ran out of time. Same things happened. I knew it was going to happen today, so I came in yesterday, last night, uh, and I recorded a little bit. You know, I've been doing these mugs like this. The vaping mug. Is it the wrong way around? Vaping mug. Yeah? And then you get your name on it. Anyway, what I did yesterday, I thought you'd be interested in this, because you know, not everybody knows what sublimation is. Uh, so sublimation is basically... Uh, you print like a normal printer, but the ink itself is not normal ink and it evaporates, it vaporizes at a set temperature. Each ink has got a slightly different temperature, but effectively that's what it is. That's at 200 degrees centigrade. And it vaporizes and it, and it sort of embeds itself onto whatever it's touching. It's got to be touching it tight like. Uh, and there's a bit of a process to do to, um, to, to make a cup. Um, I like these ones as well. This well, That's a ceramic one traditional and this one is um, these are plastic so the unbreakable days so I'm going to be doing some of these for like anglers and stuff like that people that go camping because you know you're not going to break them anybody wants any of these they're a tenner a piece for the uh, for the one-offs for people or if you want in a set of six to 35 quid so it works out a lot cheaper um, let me have another slurp of this I've been waiting for that. I meant that an hour ago. Um, how do Alan? Benny Vapes, I all will be on Facebook chat. Not on here. <laughs> There's more people watches it on Facebook than there is on YouTube, which is a little bit weird, isn't it? You'd have thought it all the way around. So when you go to YouTube and it says there's only like 40 people looked at it, it's not true because they've been looking at the Facebook page. It only counts them on Facebook, on YouTube, if you like. Uh, uh, I was man boss. Mam is at home today. Uh, she's having a day off. Actually, I had to get her up this morning because she got my shirts in her room. JP Vape Reviews. Hi, Benny, he says. <laughs> what am I vaping on? I'm vaping on Tabilla 2 with my faithful dark mesh tank, which I absolutely love. I've loved it since the day I got it. And, you know... 
It, I haven't had a single leak out of this. I've never actually met anybody that said theirs has leaked. You can't get the original coils, of course, that you could never could, which is a shame because the original one that were in it were fantabulous. I don't know if that's a word, but it is now. But anyway, it's fortunately Freemax Mesh Pro fit them. What have I got in this today? I've got uh, 0.21. Firing at 53.7 watts and it's 70.30 to Villa 2. Grant says to Villa 2 is absolutely lovely, which it is. Uh, I'm not going to be ranting about any 10 mil bottles, they eventually can. Don't set me off, for Christ's sake, don't set me off. What it is, is we, had, we ran out of Nick Shot bottles last week. Actually, we ran out a week before, um, but they were ordered in advance, so we didn't run out. Well, the courier came, uh, or he said that they came, but they didn't come. They didn't come at all. And then it turns out that the couriers weren't coming because Hermes, according to one of the drivers, are not bringing deliveries to shops because them shops are supposed to be shut. Right, so they're saying, well, we're not going to bring them because we get paid every time we come to a shop, we get paid per drop-off, and we're not going to bring a parcel when you're supposed to be shut. So that is what, what the big main hold-up here is that the thought we were shut, even though it says on boxes and everything, please use back door, we are open, shut us down, but we are in kind of thing, because it's mail order, isn't it? So it's a bit unfair, is that? So so now I've, I've sort of limited the companies that are buying things off based on the courier that they use. We are, we are using APC overnight, which have been absolutely fabulous for us so far. It's it's uh, it's cheaper than post office by pence, like it's not a, a lot in it. But the most important thing for us is probably about 95, 96% of next day. You know what I mean? So that makes a big difference to you. Now I ain't got time to put all the tracking numbers up because that is a real pain in the ass. But what happens is, when the, when the couriers try to deliver it and you're not in, and, the, and it's called carding, we'll card you, um, I get an email saying this order has not been in and we've carded them. So what I do then is I copy that and I send that to the customer so that they know to get in touch with whoever um, and they can get it, get their order delivered. Typically, they will deliver it the next day anyway because that's what I put on the instructions if I have to ca if carders leave again next day. Um, but they're not going to keep doing that if there's nobody in. Uh, another slurp, but we got all sorted now, so everything's back up and running. Liam has worked his, his bollocks off all week, literally worked his bollocks off. He's only that tall now. He's worn his legs down, and he's been he's been doing all orders that were that were backlogged, if you like. Because anybody that had nick shots, it just completely threw it all out. But he's caught up now. We're up to basically just yesterday's orders, I think. Um, so yeah, been a nightmare as that. Been an absolute nightmare. But I suppose it's going to, it's it's because it's not just the couriers that's a problem. There's also problems with getting um, some of the ingredients and things that we make. Like for example, some some of the ingredients, some of the juices that we make, we use um, flavor art juicy strawberry, which is rather nice. Um, but I went to there yesterday to order a gallon. Six hundred quid. Six. 100 quid for a gallon of fucking flavor <laughs> so um, that's because they're having difficulty to get all of some of the raw materials so the price has gone up like it? as you would expect supply and demand <laughs> not so much supply lots of demand oh we'll put them prices up i'm not blaming flavor out for that because it's obviously they're getting increases for the actual raw materials that goes into it but that's the kind of thing that's the that's the these are implications it's not just about getting the flu or not um it's 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 causing a lot of disruption in all sorts of ways hiya scott a facebook user wants to know what tank this is another one not giving permission this is the adfken dark mesh i think that's the name adfken pretty sure it is dark mesh tank i'm not sure that you can necessarily get it now i don't think we've got any left can't really see from there but you, you could never ever get the original coil which which is a shame because the inlets were like this on it but it's, it's got a fabulous 
I'm going to say it's a fabulous flavour, but I'm not licking the tank, it's, but it produces a good flavour. But that's really down to the coil. You know, the tank is really just um, a device to hold the coil. It's the coil that produces your flavour, like, isn't it? Not the tank. How much of an increase is the £600? I think normally it would be... It's about 70 quid a litre, 714, 21, 28. It's normally about 320 quid, something like that. So it's almost doubled, almost doubled. It will come down again, of course, as, as more raw materials become available. Um, but yeah. Scott Ray, have you got any 18650s on cabin mods? I do believe so. Uh, there's a battery section somewhere. We have got the uh, 18650s. We've got the... Uh, I can't remember what they are. Anyway, we have, we have, we've got we've got 18650s. We've got them all, I think, actually. 21s, 20s, even them little ones. The little tiny ones. <laughs> like baby ones. But things like that little billet box, that's it called. Little billet box, bantam box. Kev, you can fall out with people. <laughs> it has nearly doubled in price, yeah. But fortunately, there is uh, there is a slight uh, benefit here because uh, TFA last year released a new strawberry of their own, which is called Juicy Strawberry, and it's pretty much on par with the flavour out one. So it's not made, it's not really meant that we haven't been able to do it. We just had to substitute as a temporary measure. You know, like ice cream did in the war. I mean, that's the name of it, ice cream. It used to be made out of cream. That's why it's called ice cream. But these days, ice cream is not made out of fucking cream. It's made out of pus. <laughs> you know, you go and get some ice cream now, some cheap ice cream, soft scoop and that. There's no fucking cream in it. It's never even seen a cow. It's all just chemicals. And it's a bit like that. That happened during the war when they couldn't get the milk and cream. So they substituted it for other things. So that's why ice cream now, traditionally, Unless you get the like sort of super deluxe, so it shouldn't be super deluxe. It's just the basic thing. It's called fucking ice cream, not ice puffs. But anyway, you've got me ranting again now, aren't you? <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't mean any flavors are going to be limited. Certainly not yet, because we have got stocks of pretty much all the flavors that we need. It's just that we ran out of that strawberry, uh, but we've subbed it with the one that's the very very close to it, and we've adjusted it with a little bit of something else as well to make it uh, so it's you all know the difference to be honest. Um, uh, Les, have you ever tried yummy thingy from supermarkets? What's a yummy thingy? I've never tried a yummy thingy. Let me get that nicotine in. Oh, oh but Jesus, be trying to mighty. I don't know what we're doing. See, he is looking rather flat. <laughs> Let me just pop him up a bit. <laughs> you want to watch out because uh, he's run down here because he's seen him running around up in uh, in Scandinavia with the fucking clubs. <laughs> Let me just bash him to death and somebody will make a coat out of that. Well, somebody's already got a coat. It's called a seal. It's wearing its coat. What do you want to rip it off for? I'll make your own. <sighs> Humans. Ranting, Les. Yes, I'm ranting. I'm always ranting. Mr. Whippy Ice Puss. Now, strangely, strangely, I actually like Mr. Whippy because it's not really described as ice cream, is it? It's Mr. Whippy. We all know what Mr. Whippy is. You know, it's, it's, it is what it is. I like Mr. Whippy, but I like it, the stiff version. You know, you can, you can get a stiff version. I like that. Um, but you can't beat and you can't get this is the most important thing. You can't beat, but you can't get proper Cornish ice cream. I mean, I've said this before a couple of years ago. Um, when I were a lad, if you like, we used to go down Cornwall on a regular basis and you'd get a scoop of ice cream and it was bright yellow. You know, it was really yellow. And a great lump of clotted cream on top. Absolutely the most divine flavoured ice cream you can get. And of course, you see it in Asda and Tesco's and all this. It's a Cornish ice cream. Cornish ice cream. 
No, no. They've just made ice cream or pulse yellow to make it look like it tastes nothing like Cornish ice cream. Nothing whatsoever. You just can't get it. I did actually find a shop because I found the name of the company that makes the proper Cornish ice cream and they've done it for like 40, 50 years, is this? And they only make the one flavour. That's an indication that you're on to the right people because they don't make chocolate and banana and whatever. It's one. <laughs> That's it. Cornish. Uh, and I found them. And um, I've not tried it yet because I had the opportunity, but there is actually a shop in Leeds. It's a delicatessen in Leeds. Um, and they actually sell that Cornish ice cream from that man. Right, so I've been meaning to get across there to get to, to get, get a bowl, see if it brings back their memories. I can still taste it. I can actually still see the path down to the little shop <laughs> in my mind's eye. Have you ever heard of that? A mind's eye. A mind's eye. It's a strange saying, isn't it? But what it basically means is, when you think of something, you can you can visualise it in your mind, can't you? We're actually seeing it. You can visualise it. That's your mind's eye. Very strange. Lizards have actually got a proper eye, a third eye up here. That's strange. If you look at the top of a lizard's head, it'll have one scale in the middle that's thin and the rest, and that's a little eye. It's not really an eye, but it detects light. Greg's sweet treats. Oh, them yum yums. Oh, I've had them. That's like that little straight donut thing, isn't it? Coming in. Yeah, but well, we get them. We get them at Greg's. Yeah, obviously, Greg's are lo lovely. Um, but they are. Lou Chini's ice cream parlor in Keswick is fab. That must be, a, they must make their own ice cream. Then. I'm guessing they make their own ice cream. Um, but this, this is a, this is Cornish ice cream. There is no other ice cream in the world that tastes like Cornish ice cream. But it's very, very difficult to actually get Cornish ice cream when you're not in Cornwall. Yes, it's good for your diabetes, Grant. Speaking of which, my diabetes has been spot on this last uh, few months. I've been really maintaining it, but by Christ, I keep having hypos. A hypo is when your blood sugar drops too low and, and you, start, you can pass out. You can, you can die from it, actually. Um, now, I'm on insulin as well as all the meds and all that kind of shit. Uh, and generally speaking, I, I won't be that bothered because it interferes with your life too much. But I've been keeping... I've, been, I've had a bollocking basically, uh, and I've been keeping a really close check on it. So I've been keeping it down to around about six. So on a morning like this morning, it was 5.4, which is absolutely like a normal person. But the trouble is, I have to inject two lots of insulin. I inject a full twist, which is, I think it's 80 units, 80, 80, 80 units, right, of slow acting on a morning. And that lasts. 24 hours but every time i put something in the gob i have to inject more fast acting to knock it back down again uh, and you think well i've only had a cup of, a cup of coffee this morning right i said no full no full gone if i tested my blood sugar now it'll be about nine and that's because everything has got carbohydrates in it in one form or another and you think well there's no sugar in that right there's sweeteners in it there's no sugar in it well sweeteners themselves are actually a kind of sugar and it, it pushes it up the milk itself has got lactose in it lactose is another type of sugar so that's why your blood sugar so comes up so what i have to do is i'll say i'll drink that and it's it's probably three quarters of a pint and i would say for that i would have to inject about seven or eight units to knock it back down again do you understand? Because if I drink that, it can go up. And if I eat drinks another, it'll go up. By the time it comes to tea time, I might be 15 or 16. <laughs> Which is, you know, it's, it's it's in deadly area like. And I've been up to 30, so where I've literally been steaming. I used to go to Holland, as you know, at Orchids and that. And they go into a lot of florists, as you can imagine, there's a hell of a lot of florists. But because I used to go into, into trade areas and that, as I say, I used to visit the, the largest single span building in the world and it's uh, it's a place called culture in the netherlands and it's it's where the you must have heard of the dutch flower auctions it's where the dutch flower auctions are held underground right so it underground is a huge cavern and and they all sat around and they all oh, give me five for this all oh, give me six 
seven, eight, actually they work backwards. Um, and then whoever buys them then brings them upstairs into another gigantic area, which is where they're all sold like it by the trade. Anyway, within that complex are several florists. Fabulous flowers in there, flowers from all around the world. It's absolutely unbelievable. If you like flowers, you would absolutely love that. It's, it's incredible. Anyway, as you go in round it, they've got these vertical walls that are like mirrors. So it makes the building look bigger anyway, because you, you see reflections of stuff. Uh, a bit like you see in, uh, in these, um, like, Woolworths and stuff like that. Well, I don't know they're around now, Anyway, I'd catch my scent. I'd catch vision of my scent, because I think there was somebody walking towards me, but actually it was fucking me, because I was looking at a reflection. and look at my scent. <laughs> and I'd have a plume of steam coming off my head, you know. And that's because my body was that hot with the sugar. This is when it was like 30 and 35. My, my, my body was heating up that much. It used to produce a plume of steam. And I catch, because it was cold in the room, you'd see it. And I catch sight of myself, I'm on fucking fire. <laughs> I'm not on fire at all. <laughs> but yeah, I've been keeping it right down. But the trouble is, um, if you inject and you inject a little bit too much, what happens is your blood sugar drops below where it should be. And when it gets to sort of, when it gets to about two and a half, my blood sugar, my eyes start to go dark. I don't mean the colour, I mean I start to lose the vision in the middle section. So I'm looking around like this and it's like I've got two black spots. It gets darker as it's coming in like. Uh, and my heart starts, starts gaining it there. Bum, bum, bum. And if it gets down to about 1.7, I'm, I'm ready for passing out, so I have to have some tea then. <laughs> Um, which happens, you know, it's, it's the nature of insulin. I am actually insulin intolerant as well, which is why I have to inject so much because my body doesn't recognise that it's insulin. It just says, so what? Uh, and just keeps rising. So I have to inject vast quantities of insulin. But I suppose I inject one, two, three, about seven times a day, seven or eight times a day, I have to inject insulin, depending on what I'm eating. One sandwich, one slice of bread a sandwich would be 20, like 20 units. If you give 20 units to a normal diabetic, it would knock them out and be dead in, a, in an hour. <laughs> Me, I'm like an elephant, it just, it just takes my notice. Uh, man on fire, man on fire, <laughs> yeah, man on steaming. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just show you these little videos that I did yesterday. I'm, I'm pretty sure you would be interested anyway. I also did a little update on the plants that we've got in there. Now, you're not going to believe these plants when you see them on this video. Absolutely incredible. Um, so I'm going to do that. But the first part of the film is showing you how I do the, uh, the sublimated the mugs and what programs I use and all that kind of shit. And then next Saturday, I'll do another segment, if you like, uh, showing you how to use, I don't know, the, the cutter, the vinyl cutter. So we use Coral Draw, we use Roland Cut Studio, um, and then obviously we cut it on the um, on the vinyl cutter itself. And these are things for, for Winder. You know, I've got Winder stickers up now. So I produce all that. It's really what I got it for. I got it to produce his own stickers. You know, we teach a man to fish and he fish, it feeds for a lifetime. So I do my own stuff now. You're not relying on other people. Um, so anyway, it's, uh, it's, it's all very interesting. I, I absolutely love it anyway. Mark Tabron tested positive. He had his test the other day and he's just said he's off work at the moment. He's tested positive. Uh, well, yeah, hopefully you're, uh, you're a fit man. I have no underlying conditions, I hope. Because it is, it is really attacking the people that's got underlying, such as me and my mum. My mum's on antisuppressants. Not antidepressants, anti-immune suppressants. Uh, because of her condition. So she's right in the wind and i'm right in the wind because i've also developed a peripheral arterial disease which basically means my legs are dropping off so they'll be gone in a couple of years so i'll be uh, walking around on stilts probably but i'm not having one of these that look like artificial legs when my legs go one first thing that goes i'm having a pirate's leg you know a proper dim lad out one of them <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to keep us updated on that, Mark. He also tested positive for donut as well, because he likes his uh, his donut. Uh, juice, that is, not uh, <laughs> not real donut. So I, su I suspect he might like a donut or two. 
uh, grant. <laughs> Take care and just relax. Hope you get better. This is from Grant Luckman, one of his colleagues. Uh, Les, you'll still be taller than Liam. A 3D printed Les. Yeah, I could do, couldn't I? I could do. Right, I'm going to show you this little video if I can, and then and then once I've shown you this, I'll I'll put that link up so anybody can come in if you want. Uh, I've got to work this out again now. Have a look. Right, you have to let me know as well if you can't hear it because I can't tell at my end if you can hear it or not. So get ready to tell me if you can hear it. So share screen. And we're going to go to the Chrome tab. And we're going to go to that. Share. Right, so as you can see, I'm using Adobe Photoshop. And we're going to be creating an image. Can you hear me? Onto a mug. So the first thing we've got to do is create a document. Now, the document size I'm going to create is 100 millimeters wide and 240 millimeters tall. 300 dpi you can see and i've got it a cmyk color that's why I, if necessary i can adjust each individual channel uh, and i'm doing it this size 100 by 240 because i've got i'm using pre-cut paper and that's the size of the paper so we'll create that so that is our canvas if you like let me shrink it down a bit now the pieces of paper that we use are actually a little bit bigger than the area that we can print so in order to know where to put the picture on the sheet of paper, we're going to have to put some guides on it. So we're going to create a new guide. Now, I'm going to be using one column by one column, as you can see there. I'm going to adjust that. If I put that into two, you'll see what it does. You see, I've got two columns, but we just want one. Uh, and we're going to use a margin all the way around, which is going to denote the area that we can't print on. Now, I already know because I've measured it. So it's 1.9 centimeters from the top, 1.9 centimeters from the bottom, and 0.63 either side, left and right, as we're looking at it on the screen there. So that's the size that we're going to be doing. Now, what you can actually do in, in this, once you've created the guide, you can actually move things like that, which is a bit of a pain in the rectum, because you can do it accidentally. But what we can do to prevent that, if we just put that back, is we're actually going here and we can lock the guy like that. So now, the wall holds, right? So we've now got our canvas, if you like. So let me open an image. We're going to open this Vanda image. The Vanda is an orchid, by the way. Uh, but here, as you can see, it's the wrong way around now. If we just press this so we can see so. So what we're going to do, we're going to rotate the image, and we're going to say, yeah, we're going to say turn it counterclockwise, 90 degrees. And now what I'm going to do is drag that over onto this sheet, and as you can see, it's oh, too small. So we're going to increase that size by using the transform and scale. And I'm going to press the control button on the keyboard to control the aspect ratio. And we're going to go like that. And we drag it so we've got it just about where we want. Like that. Uh, right now, what we have seen is in the little border, we've got some pictures of flowers and leaves, which is not what we want. So, what we can do, and just double drop that, what we can do, I'll reset this to the default colours, bring the white to the front, and we're going to draw a square outside the page and bring it up to that line. Now it will actually snap to the line and it will eradicate that bit of extra picture there. You see it? We'll do the same with this side. And like I said, Photoshop will snap to that guy and there's a little piece of bottom there. So that's now gone off a bit of as well. Right. So we've now got our image inside the printable area. So that's fine. Let's just say we're going to print that. Print it away as well. But if you wanted to put some words on it as well, let's use the type tool. We're going to say orange. Oops, not that. Oh, here's another question. Like that. 
I can make flip. Uh, but it's going horizontal now, so what we need to do is turn that. So we're going to transform that and we're going to flip it in 90 degrees counterclockwise, like so. So we've now got the proper writing. You see? So I should stick that. You see that orange, that red line that's coming up? That's very handy because that's telling you if you're in the middle. So that's where we're going to drop it. Now, here comes the tricky one. If we print that off, we're going to end up basically with a lovely little photo. But that is not what we want. We're going to sublimate it. And sublimation basically means it's like a, a normal ink when you print it onto paper, it's permanent and then it is forever and again, click base. With sublimation ink, what it is, is once it gets to a set temperature and each ink, ink is slightly different, but for this purpose, we're going to set 200 degrees. Once it gets to 200 degrees, the ink, it will evaporate and vaporize. And that will embed it into whatever surface it's sat on. In our case, it's going to be a bug. But what it will also do, it will also mean that the writing will come out backwards. So what we need to do now is flip the image. So we're going to say image, image rotation, flip the canvas vertical, like that. Right, so what we've done now, we've reversed it. So it's now, as you can see, the wording is written backwards. So we now print that. So on the file, print. And we have a few printers on our system, as you can see. This is Bing, Versalink, and whatnot. Now I'm using the uh, WF7710 from Epson. We've got to make sure that this here is a Photoshop that's managing the color. The default is it would automatically the printer would control the color. But we don't want to do that because we're selecting a printer profile here. And this is relative to the ink that we're using. So this is ink text doubling over ink. Now you could use Epson or you could use the Dell or whatever if you have a different profile. But we, you want to make sure that you've got the correct color profile selected. You would get that profile internally from the ink manufacturer. Once we've done that, we can go into print settings. And here we want to be selecting plain paper. We want a high quality image. If you wanted to, you could also flip it horizontal, like this, this mirror image. This is in case you've not used some sort of Photoshop. Personally, I like to do it in Photoshop, so I'm not going to use that. But up here, we need to make sure that we've got the document size, which is the bug. I've already set up, which is 100 by 240 that's set. Uh, and you want to make sure, and here, this would normally be ticked. Color correction, that would normally be ticked. We want to turn it off, go into advanced, and make sure that it's not doing anything with the color, so we need to turn off the color adjustment. Because we've already told the printer that we want to use this color profile. So that is done. So I can now send that to the printer. Right, so I'm going to print this off. Um, the next time you're going to see me, we'll be at the printer as it's coming out, and then we'll take it from there. Right then, so here I am at the printer. These are the sheets of paper I was telling you about. These are 100 millimeters wide and 240 deep. Well, any way you want to do it. But we're going to put it in the printer that way, which is the same orientation as we had on the, on the uh, protein shop. So I'm going to put this in. I just press yes, okay. This is a, this is the Epson printer by the way, this is an A3 printer, it's an inkjet, but we're not using the ink, we came with it, we're using sublimation ink. Which I'll give that brief set up. And the particular ink I use it is ink text sublinova. Alright, and it's a smart ink. Now the colours when you print them don't look as bright as the one if they're a normal photo. And that's because it's not normal ink. You see? That's the print that we've just made, and as you can see, it's written backwards, and it's a little bit down looking. I'm just going to lay this on top of the bulk press just for a second to dry it out, because moisture is not something that you want in the sublimation process. Because it interferes with the, uh, with the uh, evaporation of your eyes. That's another picture of that print. As you can see, it's quite dull, but they're not dull when they come out. Right, so what we've got here now, Dried a little bit. I mean, we're already fairly dry anyway. Now, what I'm actually
imagine printing on today are these plastic mugs, these are indestructible mugs, you know, like you have kids' mugs for kids' party mugs, I like that one, I'd have a So, what I'm going to be doing is lining this up as best I can so that we've got the image where we want it. Now, I know if I put that mark just about there, I don't know if you can see that, just there, it will be level all the way around. So, I'm going to tap it on. It's a little bit of a pain in the rectum, I guess, to line this up. No, this is heat, heat sensitive or heat resistant tape, so it can melt in the machine because the machines are going to be at 200 degrees centigrade. So if you use normal tape, it would just uh, it would melt. I'll make sure this is not skewed. A little bit skilled, but I'm going to fix that in a second. So that's the right side stuck. On this side, it's a little bit skilled, so if I undo the tape of this side, it can straighten it back up. Stick it on. So we've now got our mug. Legs, I'm sure. 
<laughs> so, the next one of these little videos when I'm doing is to show you this, what I'm else with up in India. What I'll do is I'll show you the, uh, the, vinyl, the vinyl cutter next time. So next time, in the list, one of these little segments, I'll do the program on what I've Hello, Jules, come in. Up, are you? I'll show you the coral draw, which you can use with the Roman vinyl cutter. Right. Uh, and perhaps then I can show you of the following video. Uh, what's your, your name? Zoe. It'll be well. I'm just doing a live video at the minute, so that'll be. I'll be able to be doing it probably in about half an hour. So it'll be coming in about forty minutes. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to be leaving about three. Back at shop, yeah. No worries. Ta da. On the hydroponics that we're doing, you should see that when you're under a shop, the amount of peppers that are on these chilies. Unbelievable. Anyway, I'll catch you in a sec. Back around there. Right then, so it's a time for a little update on our chili peppers. You remember these have been in here for, oh, I don't know, probably about six weeks, six or something like that. You're not going to believe this. Bear in mind, I only showed you last week. You're not going to believe this. Let me get this baby in here. see them over there they are actually there it's just because they're um it's because they're green <laughs> all these little balls of my all of them all of these you see these are all the same as well they've all got little flowers on them this one this variety which is i think it's carolina reaper is the first one that's flowered uh then it was well, this one that flowered then this one, then this one. I can't, I can't tell you what varieties they are because I can't get to plant to label. But that's unbelievable, isn't it? From them little tiny cuttings that we had. And you can see, you should be able to see on there, the different colours. These ones are slightly darker green than these ones. And this is a variety thing. This is a shorter one. Uh, it's got bigger branches, though, but less of them. Um, so they're all doing spectacularly well, but this one is absolutely full of flowers. Now then, as far as the uh, the nutrients are concerned, obviously you know, you can remember which nutrients I've used. I've used the Canna Aqua Venture because we're using a water system, aren't we? It's like almost hydroponics, as in no soil at all, because there is no soil in these. Two of them have got rock wool, and two of them have got clay pebbles. Personally, based on what I'm seeing here, I think the rock wool has outperformed the clay pebble. Uh, but what I've actually used is this barrel at the side that you can see. That's 100 litres, and I've filled that twice. That's all I've done, i filled it twice. And I've just basically kept the reservoir <laughs> topped up. Now, this time... When I come to fill the reservoir, and it's almost all gone, I'll be using Aqua Flores, which is the flowering version. Because it's already done the growing, and it's now in the flowering phase. So I'm going to change it to flowering nutrients, because that's what it's going to be needed now to produce them fruits. Now, I've not had to use any extra uh, additives in this. It's been, as you can see, the nice, green, healthy plant, so there's no extra additives needed. Now, what I'm going to do, because it's because now that you're really using a lot of water because they've got a lot of leaves, uh, I'm having to leave the watering system. If you remember, I, initially I had it on so it can 
come on every couple of hours for like 15 minutes. For the last, I would say, 10 days, two weeks, the water has been running 24-7. So it's constantly running through the plants. Otherwise, I think it would dry it up too much. So it's now constantly on, flowing through constantly. And it's using probably about a litre of water a day in evaporation. So the next time I'm going to be using this, I'm not going to bother emptying that liquid that's in there because it's using it. I will simply replace that uh, nutrient tank with the flowering version. And then when it comes to topping up, I will just top up from that. So it will get exchanged as it's getting used. And I think that's going to be a really nice um, a nice way of doing it. And I'm not wasting anything then, as, of course, as well. Now, bear in mind that it's done all its growing. I've only actually used, I don't know if you can see it in there, but I've only actually used half of this bottle. You know, it's only half, half used. So I'm going to get two lots out of one bottle. So that's really good value for one. So that's really all about that is to show you on that. As you can see, they're doing really well. And being from Yorkshire, <laughs> this is a tray of Lophophora cactus. Uh, peyote cactus. These are about probably five years old, I would think, six years old maybe. Uh, now I grow these really hard, so they, they look small for the size, but they're really nice. These are now going to start flowering. They have lovely pink daisy flowers on them. Aren't they spectacular? But rather than wasting the space around in here, I've actually got the cactus growing in here, or any other plants you cut out. So that you know, you know, you, you're taking advantage of all that light in there before it's being, you know, you can't waste the light, you might as well use it, haven't you? Anyway, that's a quick update on the plants. As you, as you can see, they are doing spectacularly well. And I would expect some peppers start to be, to be taken off these probably within the next month, I would have thought. Should be able to start harvesting something, even if it's green chilies, because they're all chilies like, aren't they? Uh, anyway, that's it for this little segment, uh, just a little update really, and, uh, and I'll keep you informed and we'll watch the progress as it continues. And next Saturday, back to the main video now. Yeah? Ooh, there we are, we're back again now. So, there you go, aren't them chilies done fab fandabulous? I don't know if that's a real word either. <coughs> Cheers. I'm having a little bit of a hypo at the minute, actually, because I'm shaking like this. That was an artificial shake, like, but I feel my body vibrating. So it must be dropping me sugar. So, yeah, they are doing really, really well. Um, like I said, out of that one little bottle, like it's a two, it's an A and a B, but out of that one bottle, we've fed them plants and we've only used half, right? Now, there's going to be hundreds of chilies in there. So when they're going to be ready, we'll we can sell them chilies. <laughs> pay for the stuff you say that's the thing because they're very expensive is some of these chilies so if you know i can expect really in the next four to six weeks that we should be picking some nice chilies i'll leave a lot on obviously to ripen so that they, they become really potent um but yeah it's uh it's a it's an enjoyable thing to do and if you're into gardening the fact that they're growing so rapidly is absolutely it's mind-boggling really because that would normally be months worth of growth but because I've got that light on in there and it's on 24-7, so I, I've just had it running 24-7. So as far as the plants are concerned, it's midsummer all day and night. And that is why they're growing like they are. What you could do is you, you could have it on for 12 hours on and 12 hours off or 18 hours on and six hours off to give them a little rest in between. But I'm not bothering with that. I'm just, get some chilies. Come on, baby. <laughs> so... It's it's fascinating, really, isn't it? So if if any 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 of you wanting to grow these plants, it's not going to be chilies. It could be any kind of plants that you want, really. I will be doing another tent that will be set up specifically for orchids, but it, because of the situation at the minute, it's not really been very practical. Uh, but if you live in a block of flats, for example, and you're wanting to have effectively a greenhouse, get a tent. Get a tent. Get a, one of the white lights. It's not that colour. You want the white one, so it's so you can see what you're doing. Um, and, and you're going to be able to grow them. It's, it's the most efficient way of, of growing these things. 
Um, but obviously in the house, if you're just doing them for your orchids and stuff, you wouldn't necessarily leave it on 24-7. I've left it on 24-7 there because it's it's basically a crop that we're trying to do. So we're trying to get it to go. But if you when you're doing it your orchids or any other kind of plants, you want to give them a natural sort of cycle, daylight cycle. So you sell like 18 hours on, uh, six hours off, and that would be like a, a good summer's day in, let's say, Arizona or whatever. Um, so so that's that's really what you do. So the, the the possibilities really are endless. You can get tents in every size that you that you want. You can also get the lights, which are compact fluorescents, so like a twisty thing, so the low wattage. You can even get LED ones, but I don't particularly like the LED ones. Or oh, certainly not from a couple of years ago, anyway, because they're not they're not really got the intensity. Although I do understand that they have improved recently, uh, this last twelve months. But the price has gone up quite considerably as well, because as more technology has come into it. Uh, and, the, and the things have got better. The prices have gone up, so it's a bit of swings and roundabout. I mean, some of the light fittings can be a thousand pounds just for one light fitting, you know. So it's really the budget is down to you. This is one of the cheapest ones. These are for that entire light sitter system, including the uh, the timer and, and all the rest of it, and the lamp and everything, is about ninety quid. So you know, it's doable for most folk, I can tell. Um, so anyway, that's that bit. Uh, like I said, I've shown you how to do the mugs. I hope you enjoyed that little video. Uh, they are fabulous. Uh, it's, it's, like I said, this place here, Juice Cabin, is not just about juice anymore. It's it's because I've effectively retired into this building. Do you know what I mean? I don't consider it to be work as such. It's not like going out to work. It's basically a man cave. Isn't it? It's a man cave and it's got all of my toys in it. Do you know what I mean? So I'm a very, very lucky man to be in a position where I can play basically i'm playing all the time here yeah. what can i say right i'm going to put the uh, thing on so if anybody wants to come on you can do i'm just going to flip this on uh i've used photoshop for years by the way that's uh that's your new earl if you wanted to come and join in with this stream and i'm just going to do another one actually because i've got uh, just bear with me Okay, scroll across. Okay, and banner. Where's that one going to show? Right, if you're wanting some seeds, because now is we have been summer, the weather's changed, it's not going to be frosty. If you wanted to grow some seeds for a for your uh, pain relief. You can get to that website. <laughs> now these are not for planting because it's illegal to plant these. These are for souvenirs, right? They're just souvenirs. So if you wanted to do any of that, you can certainly get it over there. Uh, and you want the feminized ones, so you ain't got to bother sex implants. And you also want the automatic ones. So there's absolutely no pissing around with it. All you've got to do is sow your seeds and let the, let the summer sun do it best. It takes about eight weeks for some of them. It's dead simple. That's just in case anybody wants to know. <laughs> we've also got chili peppers out of us. Now then, we've got Grant here waiting. I can see him. I can see his little cheesy face. There he is. <laughs> he's, got his, he's got his Les Air cut on. It's called the COVID cut. You call it what, a COVID club. COVID cut. <laughs> oh, the <a> COVID cut. <laughs> well, that old Mark then getting tested positive. I know, yeah. That's shocking, isn't it? Mm. It's it's a worry, don't it? Because when you test positive, you might you might have had it for a fortnight already. To be looked to, that's where I've got in here. Fucking bang on. It is lovely, isn't it? It's very smooth, isn't it? Mm. What are you vaping it on? Oh, you got one of them, um, yeah, vintages. Only because I can change the battery when I'm at work. Oh, you've got the battery one, yeah. Charging it all the time, yeah. Yeah. Have you, have you had an opportunity yet to use that little dropping thing for the top where you've got like an adapter for a tank? Not yet. You don't use that. Did you get one? Uh, I've got one. I just yeah. uh, I got one. I got an extra tank off Liam the other week. Yeah, they are very good. However, 
However, I, uh, yeah. these are the original pods. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't advise anybody does it, but if you lay it on its side and stand on that, that actually just pops off and you can pull the inner rubber out and put it back on. Oh, very good. So you can still use, you still need to buy that if you want a bigger tank. However, yeah. you can use the rubber off that and pull the rubber out and give yourself an extra mil, two mil. <laughs> <laughs> they ought to put that in the instruction book, didn't they, really? However, I wouldn't advise doing doing it how Liam said to do it. What did he say? Which was putting a pair of pliers in and pulling it through. Yes, it does work, but it splits all the actual seal around the actual yeah. thing itself. Yeah. Gonna knack it into it. So you found a way to actually open the pod from the top rather than trying to pull it through the bottom. They're just they're just like um, a clip seal, but oh, it's like... tight enough that you can't pull them off. But if you yeah. stand on one side and stand on the other gently, you just pop it off and it. Ah, uh, so it's like push fit then, like, like two little yeah. ridges or something. But it's really really tight. So it, once mm. it's on, it's on. Well, it's yeah. supposed to be on, but it's not. It's you can get it off. That's pretty good. They are really really nice little devices, them aren't they? We've sold so I've got so two pods, berry kicker. Yeah, typically two. <laughs> it's a good idea though, isn't it? Having different pods with different flavors and that. I'm just going to get Benny on. We've got Bar Benny. There he is. Hello. 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 All right. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> we can up growing nice and well. Shut my door. We can zap. We've had some joke quite. Oh, we've gone. <laughs> there we go. Les, I need you to do some panels for me. What you got? Oh, you got one of them? Yeah. So I want some custom panels with my logo on. We can sublimate them. Like the one I did last week for somebody as a demo. You see, I put a picture on it. Yeah, yeah. It's cockeyed like this one because it was just a test. I didn't know. It. I thought it might just yeah. melt it flat, but yeah, we can do that. What's he yeah. already know? So when you uh, when you back open, it's got a bunny. Do you know? Sometimes inside them, it's actually a dildo. Have you seen him? <laughs> when you unwrap it, and it's actually a fucking dildo. It's a dildo shape. <laughs> I think it was Father Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> the unwrapped it, you want a chocolate cock? <laughs> I don't want to know what you're buying on your buying. Yeah. <laughs> that went wrong sight, Les. That would Ann Summers. Yeah, but could have been, yeah. Could have been. It all fails. I've got hand sanitizer, where are you? Yeah. <laughs> so I can wipe it down before I share it. Alan says he's currently using the RBA in his Vinci. How are you finding that, Alan? This is Alan that's, uh, he's not on video, like he's, uh, he's on chat. I'll give you a little bit of a thing. Don't buy that. Is it shit? No. The battery, fantastic. The pod is shit. Does it leak? That, well, it leaks, yeah. Leaks. <laughs> and it's fucking, just comes mm. fucking off. Yeah. I mean, the Vinci's got a really good strong magnets on it, like, hasn't it? They, they really click into position. You can hear it. Can you, hold, can, can you hold it with it, Benny? Yeah, proper the proper magnet. Can you, can you hold it, Benny? Does it work? Yeah, it'll hold. But if you put it in your pocket, pull it out, you pull the fucking top off. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go find your battery. <laughs> can you get different um, different pods for it, though, Benny? Can you get, like, different brands of pods? I don't think so, because it takes the same colours as the Vinci. Yeah. Just in a different design. And you can't get out of this one. You can't get bung out of this. It won't come out. You can't get out in it. No, because it's the shape of it. I've tried. Uh, and you can't pull it apart. It's ridiculous. It's two mil limit, isn't it? It's, it's just, it makes no sense at all, does it? Yeah. Benny, did you see what I was telling Les about the... Yeah, yeah, to, to split the top. Yeah, instead of like we were trying to do with it. Yeah, trying to get it out, yeah. <laughs> well, like I say, that one, you can't... Because it's shape of it, because it's oblong, you can't get you can't get out and you can't split it, so it won't split. Is it all uh, one molded? Is it molded into all one like? But it'll be push fit, but you can't. 
I don't think there's enough room to pry it out without snapping the side of it. Can you not stand on it like I did with that? No, I don't <laughs> think you I don't think you will, mate. <laughs> Put a piece of wood on it and press on it and see if you can get Yeah, I don't think either side with it in the middle, just see if it pops. What about warming it up? Yeah. Make it a little bit softer. To be fair, I'm not that bothered because I'm not gonna be using it so Do shit anyway. <laughs> Yeah, Alan said it was a bit fiddly to put the leg length to cut the leg length on his um, on his RBA section for that Vinci, four millimeters long. Fiddly to build. I'll look after chat on YouTube then. <laughs> oh, you're on YouTube, aren't you? <laughs> Just as a matter of well, interest, this is if for anybody's watching on YouTube. I will monitor that. <laughs> I had a customer ringing me yesterday about wanting to know about some um, additives for his plant. Uh, so I'm going to just suggest some of these. He wanted a root stimulant, which that is a good root stimulant. Um, and we've got another one here, which is also another good root stimulant. Obviously, this is a, a bigger bottle. And he also wanted to know about the rhizotonic. Again, this is, uh, this is one where you get additional missing nutrients that might not be in them like trace elements and stuff like that uh, that's in here we've also got the super thrive which is actually a seaweed extract this is from seaweed and i've used this stuff for years with my orchids and it's really good because it gives you all the minerals and things that, are, that get leached out of water and stuff like that so that's really good and the other thing i would suggest is magna cal plus and this it allows your plants to actually um, get to the calcium because they need calcium for the for the uh, cell structure and this unlocks the calcium so that they can get at it so those, those are the three that i would suggest uh and finally you've got multi-tonal uh, multi -tonal, and this one will dissolve basically any dead root or any dead plant material and convert it back into usable nutrients so that the plants can access it so we've got all this stuff in the shop it's all on the website for the Fev Hydro. <laughs> have, have you got any big cups yet like that? I ain't got that's uh what size is that? It's a big half a litre. Is, is it a 15 ounce? Yeah. Yeah, normal cup, these ones are eleven. These are eleven ounce, which is like eighth a pint, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, but we can get all sorts of different things. It is uh, fabulous. Do you like the picture on that one? I want you to do me a predator one. A predator one. <laughs> Might want to think that through. <laughs> so, Les, do you know how you get random shit off of Amazon delivered? Yeah. Well, they're now delivering with my name on it to a different address, to the address over at Road. So he keeps coming over and bringing me over. <clears throat> so last week, I got a pack of fucking tax. <laughs> and this week... I've got something for the fucking guitar. Yeah, you get some really random. Last week, I got a set of wireless earbuds, earphones. I got a case, like a like a rubberized case for uh, an iPad. I got <coughs> that you put in shower, so you you screw the shower head off, and it's got little balls in it, and it's like a filter thing. So I got one of them as well. It's not filter. I got it's like a filter, yeah. It's, I don't, it's, it's like not, it's not. It's if you've got if you live in a low water area, low pressure, it boosts the pressure. Oh, is that what it is? So it well, sucks the water through and then boosts your pressure, so it gives you more power on the head. I got four different things last week, just just like random shit. Yeah, but there's no <laughs> random than a fucking set of tacks. <laughs> well, I, I got a packet of tits. <laughs> Remember that packet of breasts I got? So <laughs> if anybody wants to look for the guitar. I don't know what it is. Oh, I can't sell any threat. <laughs> what the hell's that? It's, it goes on the it goes on the thing called. Is the, it so they can hold the strings down. together? Yeah, it holds all four strings, all five strings together. So, so if anybody wants it, hit me up. They can fucking have it. And if you want some tax for your shed, can I have some fucking tax. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing I ever got, or the smallest thing I ever got, and the most useless thing. Or a hairband, <laughs> one about that big in a packet, one little pink stretchy hairband. Where did you sign up for this? 
But just randomly come. Yeah. I've had, I'm, 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 how many packets have I had, Benny? That's, that's oh, loads. 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 Well, that's what got you started on watches, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, I. Yeah, I've had, I've had watches. I've had millions of screen protectors for different mobile phones. I've had breaths, uh, clothes bags, uh, you name it, I've had it. It's ridiculous, really. Some must be costing somebody a fortune, but it's a little bit of a scam is what it is. It's the, the actual seller sends out these cheap things under your name, and then they can put a, put a good comment or a, a review as if you've had it. Do you know what I mean? So that's what it's all about. It's not actually something free from Amazon. It's the sellers being dodgy. <laughs> well, at least give me something decent then. Yeah, I said we be jag. <laughs> either, either that or Liam, Liam's take it piss. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. <laughs> so. I've got a new tank. Oh, what's that? That is the fat rabbit. The fat rabbit. Yeah, stock coil from LV. Is it I a bit rebuilding while I'm screwing? Fucking is it rebuilding? Oh, fuck off of this fucker. So that's it. I thought it said fat bastard at the bottom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Five mil with a extension extension tank. And uh, coils are really nice. But it's got top airflow, which is a bit, and bottom airflow. So I've just closed, closed top airflow off. That would run through them, wouldn't it, if you filled it up? Yeah, you if you open it up full, there's fucking loads of air if you open it up full. Yeah. And what juice you got in it? Um, I've got some Rachel Rabbits. Uh, no, Jack Rabbits. Blueberry Duffin. I'll show you some proper air. But yeah, I think you'll like that, Liz. I think you'll like, you'll like that. I need to get some to Billy 2 as well, next, as soon as you open. Did you have it? That Tabilito is, this is where I'm on now. I'm yeah, it's nice as that Tabilito. Like I say, I think it'd be nice in a, a sub home tank. Like I said, I don't feel See, like. Like I said the other day on Facebook, I just say to Les, what do you recommend? And I'll try it. What do you think of it? Bang on. Yeah, it's nice. You know, it? When, I, when I saw it and I thought, oh, it's going to be tobacco and that. And then as soon as I started vaping it, that vanilla just comes through enough and you're like, oh. It's not actually tobacco, is it? The, the tobaccos are not not really tobacco. It, it's, the flavor, it's very difficult to explain to people that it doesn't taste like tobacco taste when you're burning it. It tastes like freshly mown grass. I'll be honest with you. Grass. When you put it's that good. first little drip on your tongue, you go, yeah. oh. Yeah. And when you vape it, it's totally different. It's beautiful. Yeah. Isn't it? it really is. And it's smooth as soon as you mix it as well, isn't it? What the fuck is tiger up? Tiger nut, yeah, it's um, it's something that they used to have during during war. You can still get them now in health shops. There's a little tiny nut about this big, and it's all wrinkly looking. But it's the flavour of horchata. Uh, have, you ever right. been to Spain? have you ever been to Spain? No, well, years ago, but yeah. Well, they, in Spain they have a drink. They have it in Mexico and places like that. It's called horchata. And right. it's made from tiger nuts and water and sugar, and it's all blended, and it's it's basically left to stew, and then they drain the liquid off, and it comes out. It's like milky coloured, as you can imagine, and that is what it's that's tiger nut flavour. But it's actually called. as nice as it is, as nice as it is. So when you read it, like you say, tiger nut, it's a little old wrinkled nut, <laughs> yeah. well yeah. aged, and then it says. Other enhancements. I'm glad it says other and not Les's enhancements. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Not the jizz. <laughs> <laughs> so so it's it's like Les is nuts in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it. That's where Haughty Looks gets its name from. Haughty right. is Haughty Deluxe. See? But Tiger, yeah, Tiger Looks, you don't get, really get them from a health shop now. <laughs> It's not something that you would normally see it as, not it? <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. When you put tiger nuts on it, I'm like, what the fuck's tiger nuts? And I tell you, I'll tell you what else is an absolute beaut as well. What you got in there, Lemonictus? I've only got that little bit left. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Lemonictus? Yeah. If you like lemon lockets, you're going to love that. That's bang on, mate. It's just like lockets, isn't it? You don't have to get rid of your snot and all. 
Black Current seems to be in thing for for your lockets. Yeah, Black Current's always been popular, like, hasn't it? Yeah, everybody mm -hmm. seems to be blame by me about that. With Black Current and Aniseed seems to be a big. Yeah, well, that's like uh, Les Astaire, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's Black Current and Aniseed. Well, we can make we could make that Lemoniptus Blackoniptus. You know, there's no um, there's no reason we can't do that. Just well, that's that's the in thing at the moment. Yeah. Oh well, Very that's and that's the new juice next week then. <laughs> Black yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, while you're on, so I could tie you down. Everybody's watching. Are you coming on mixing show on Wednesday, Les? Me? Yeah. On Wednesday? Yeah. You're not using Zoom, are you? Yeah. Can't use Zoom. You've used it before. I know I have, but it's now it's become a security risk. What has? Are you not Zoom? Have you not been reading? Oh, they've changed it. They upgraded it. They've upgraded it. You can't. What is it? You can't. It, it's something, to, something to do with the cloud because it does it in a cloud and the cloud's not is accessible to everybody and they can get down the stream onto your computer. No, not now. They've put secure. Now you've got, do you know, like before where you could just join in? Yeah. I've got to accept you now. Do you know, uh, like you do on here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't. Because the, what it was is they give it out to schools for free. You know, while they're off now. Yeah. So they give it out if you're a student or on school. So this is where they found the problem, that suddenly people were going on, um, typing random numbers in, popping up on someone's chat, and the bollock naked with yeah. uh, bits in their hand. Yeah, because it's so, just popping automatic like. Yes, because it was automatically letting you on. So now what they do now is it puts you in like this does, where it puts you in a box. So you've got to admit people to come on. Yeah. How so, many chats did you join, Benny? You what, man? <laughs> We was cooking his up. Chest did you join? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, a few. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so it's a bit. It, they've changed it. They did a security update. Alan's just been saying Zoom have updated the security. He uses it every day. It was only last week. I was reading it like, but it went up to do with other people popping up. It was to do with the way that they manage the cloud. Yeah, and, and people can come down the stream, not necessarily to be on the on your show, but they come down the stream and can access your computer. That's, yeah, that's well, they, reading. they changed it. They did a big security update. I'll have, a look, I'll have a, another read this afternoon and see what see what it says about it. But that's really that's my only issue with it because obviously these are the work computers and they've got a lot of sensitive data on them and home office stuff and, and whatnot. Just so close off Pornhub. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> log off Pornhub. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you took all bandwidth anyway. You can. That's all you gotta do. Here you go, wrinkling one out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's what people were doing, though. They were going on people's streams and just randomly coming on, bollock naked. Yeah. There used to be a there used to be a thing years ago when webcam started called webcam roulette, and you could just join it, and you just click next. Cam frog. People. <laughs> Cam frog. Yeah. You just jump. Yeah. You, you, Cam you don't know who you get. You don't know who you get, and you just press next. It's like a random shuffle. You just end up with some blokes out there or some little old man sat in his corner. <laughs> Carl says install it on the phone after morning Paul yeah if I'll come on for, for you Benny thank well, you I, I watched um, I watched one of your shows mixing shows the other, other day there were an American bloke on it uh, I can't remember the name there were, there were four of you yeah there uh, were Daytime Frank Daytime Frank yeah uh, well, very two, knowledgeable guy well, well there are two Americans on it yeah, the other one's Bill, Kentucky Bill. You Kent might see me on your chat sometimes. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's, the other one's a very knowledgeable guy um, with Daytime Frank. Uh, he's quite high up in the mixing with, you know, the Americans. Yeah. Um, which is quite good. But it gives – what what that show's about is getting other people, you know, like you used to do on your yeah. earlier mixing ones. Yeah. Just giving them a little incentive to try and – Mix a little bit, do you know what I mean? It's difficult to get people to want to mix because often they'll come and they'll not know because flavourings are although they seem cheap for a little bottle, when you when you're looking at a, of a range of maybe three hundred different flavours, you can't really mix, you know, proper flavours unless you've got the entire library yeah. to draw from. You know, if you if you only go out and order twelve bottles, it's very limited to what you can mix. And, and often people will just kind of throw it together and it'd be shit. And that yeah. just puts them straight off. 
because they think, well, it's just a waste of time because I can't mix it. It's not that they can't mix it, it's they haven't understood it to start with. It's yeah. like cooking. So it's, it's exactly the same as cooking. If you've not got the ingredients to make a stew, you can't make a fucking stew. Yeah. And it's yeah. exactly the same with the juice. You've got to have different types of strawberry, different types of custards. Yeah. that mix and match together. But you've yeah. also got to be able to taste them individually, not as juices, but as flavourings. And you've got to yeah. be able to, or because they're going to be really strong, you've got to be able to filter out the strength, the, the chemical flavour, to just get the essence of what you're trying to find. And then you've got to remember them. So that, so that you know, it's that particular strawberry is going to go with this particular fruit and that particular cream. Because yeah. if you start mixing different ones, like today, I, we ran out of juicy strawberry by FA. We went to get some yesterday, and they're wanting six hundred pound a Yeah, that's ridiculous, isn't it? That's ridiculous. But because I know what the other ones taste like, we've got got the new one from TFA, which is also called Juicy Strawberry. And we've also got in a weird uh, shisha strawberry. So we use majority of TFA juicy strawberry and some of the in a weird one, which is a jamminess, and that's yeah. basically recreated the the FA one. Do you know what I mean? But you won't be able yeah, to do yeah. that if you haven't tasted the other ones. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's very difficult. And a lot of people get put off when the juice doesn't taste like what in the mind's eye it should taste like. Well, that's why I tell people to go over where you're ALR. If you're looking for the flavour that you want to start out with and you don't want to buy loads of different flavours, go on there and search. Yeah. And have a look through because there's recipes on there that people have done and look for the best recipes. And you can pick which flavors you want to try then you know if you want a strawberry flavor you want a custard flavor go on yeah. there and have a look yeah and see what's on there so but the, uh, but the, only, the only downside with that is that they've not tested the person that's mixing it has not tested them strawberries do you know what i mean you're, you're basically doing what somebody else has mixed yes yeah no that's not, that's not learning that's just copying somebody else's oh no but that's where a, a basis to start off with isn't it do you know what i mean that's a basis to sort of without having to go spend and then if you want to get some more strawberries then you want to have a play around with it you can look for, oh, I want to do this strawberry. And I have a look to see what, what different strawberries people are using. Like, like say, Juicy Strawberry by TFA. It's a new one. Same as their new custard supposed to be banging. Yeah, uh, we've got their new custard. It's supposed to be really good, their new custard. Yeah. Well, the custard, the, the TFA custard and the TFA vanilla bean ice cream is exactly the same thing. It's, right. just, it's got one element missing. Right. And other than that, they're exactly the same. Um, so they've all got that that lovely flavour, and they are really nice. Is them? I actually like and prefer them to the to the Capella. I know you were saying you like the Capella ones. Yeah, uh, I like the TFA ones. Yeah, because uh, I, I just find them more dairy, if you like. It, it is um, Capella V two. I think it's more dairier than Capella V one. Yeah, it's very Cap distinctive. Is, is that Capella one? Yeah, because Capella V one is just straight up like egg custard, like an egg custard tart sort of thing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Whereas well, if, you get, if you get a juice and you buy somebody else's juice and you have a vape, you can taste it immediately. It's one of those things that it's Capella. It's the same yeah. with their strawberry. It, it's there. It's just it takes over your mind a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's has really she, Has she been to your back door yet, Les? Uh no, I don't think she has. I've told her to come at three. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, not action at three o'clock. <laughs> I came in this morning, I thought, I'm going to get this done, I'm going to get this done, I'm going to get this done and this done. I had none on it, because <laughs> the phone's not stopped ringing. <laughs> well, we've not heard it for the last hour. It's what? It's only rang once in the last hour. I know it has, it's, it's, uh, they must have think I've gone on, but this morning it was it was chaotic. <laughs> ah, it's because I lose hands it all week. Yeah. Give him his credit, mate. I tell you what, I ordered that stuff the other day. He was like, I'll get it sorted as quick as I can. Two days later, it's from Woody Dilly. That's all right, isn't it? We don't mess around. Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Oh, got myself there. Oh, yeah. That's for sticking on your However, I want one of these That's with the back. number at the bottom. I want one with a number at the bottom. Oh, phone number. So I can put it in back window at car. Yeah. Benny Vapes. <laughs> is your name Benny? It's another one of my new toys. <laughs> is your name Benny? I should put it on the bottom, should I like that? That's just a t-shirt. You'll move it along and I'll go ticking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Who else we got on? Have we got anybody else on here? We've got Johnny Bryce. Are you Johnny? Yes. You're going to be making some of them for some of them pop back window at car with number and that, Bob. I can do, yeah. They were they were the first ones I did uh, when I got the machine. Uh, ripe strawberry saying he's nice from Capella. Facebook yeah, right. Uh, Taran's on. Oh, good. Hello, Taran. That's in our Taran. Taran's normally here all the time. Being shot with your Tarek, yeah, we're, uh, we're out. <laughs> I don't know what them Russians are ruthless means. <clears throat> Did you notice, have you seen on Newsweek now, they're investigating whether or not this virus that's kicking around has come from a lab in Wuhan? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you remember the first video I did on it? I know, that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> when I said it, I also said, the only way we're going to survive it is to self-isolate. Do you remember? He should have been a politician, Les. You don't need to be a politician to, to know common sense. Like, yeah, unfortunately, it's got such a financial impact to do all these sensible things that it's it's been put off and put off and put off. I mean, you think, how many small businesses is there in England? I might say in England, England where Britain works there. And every one of them that gets a council tax bill, you don't have to pay any rates. You have to get a council tax bill, even if it says zero on bottom. Every one of them is entitled to 10,000 quid. Yeah. Which you don't have to pay back. No, no, it's granting it. So how much money is that alone going to cost? That's, well. I mean, that's some amount of money in it. So when we're going to be out of this, which I don't actually think we'll ever be out of it as so, such, because you can't get rid of it, it's, it's out. I think it's that we're going to be taxed so heavily that it's not going to be worth, worth working. Yeah. <laughs> because they've got to get that money back. It's not just, oh, well, we've written it off. We've got to get it back, haven't we? So where are they going to get it from? Well, well you need to stock up on petrol and diesel now. Get loads of jerry cans while it's cheap. Yeah. Because that'll shoot back up. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, get all that I mean, stuff up. The electric cars, if they weren't so dear, everybody would have an electric car, like, wouldn't they? Well, they're getting better, are they? The electric cars are better than the what? Oh, yeah. Definitely. You know, but you can't plug it in anyway. There's a lot more places now, garages and that lot, do electric. Service stations. You've been sitting there them. for 45 minutes while it charges. Yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, yeah. You can get them at home, like, can't you? Just plug it in, don't you? Outside, yeah. Carry. I know if you go to Aldi and do your shopping at the minute, there's a queue of about half an hour to get in. So if you plug yeah. your electric car in, that's an half an hour head start while you're shopping, exactly. Yeah, yeah. What is it? I've got them all service stations, you just plug them in, yeah. go in a service station, go for a piss. Yeah, I mean, if they wanted to do, if they wanted to do something good, the government, what they ought to do is say, right, we're going to buy every fucking petrol cut and diesel car off you, and we're going to give you so much towards a new electric one. We can oh. get that now. You can get that now, can you? Yeah, you can get a grant. You know, for if you got a D, if you got an electric, yeah, um, it's subsidised. That's what it needs. Yeah. So if you get if you buy an electric car, um, Tesla were doing a deal. Obviously, I know the cars are not cheap. They've made a cheaper version now, which is like forty k <laughs> instead of seventy k. But if you buy an electric car, they're doing a deal where you get a the charging unit and they come and install it professionally fitted and everything to the side of your yeah. house or wherever you need it. Them Tesla ones are nice, aren't they? Yeah. I'd, I'd, want one like that that control. <laughs> I'd want one that you can do on your phone so you can make it dance, so doors and boat opens. And yeah. that. <laughs> 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 that's where 21700s were developed for Tesla car. It probably is. I won't be surprised. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, they're saying it's ecologically friendly or environmentally friendly, but actually it's not really because they're digging it up from some mine in fucking Africa. Then they're sending all that over to Japan to be furnished. And then they're making it from Japan to China to turn it right. into a battery. And then they're sending it to America to put it right, ah. chaps, I'm off. All right, Grant. Nice to see you again, Grant. Uh, Thanks for coming on. Paul Kirby's just saying, you know what I did my Ewok thing? Oh, Paul yeah. Paul, Paul Kirby saying he says I'm a lion twat. Anti Ewok kick doesn't hurt my ass. <laughs> I've been crying with pain. My lasses, our lasses crying with laughter. <laughs> I don't think it hurts. It doesn't that's because you've done it slowly. You've got you have to grab it and yank. Yeah, yeah. You've got really to take a deep breath. What you've got to do is take a deep breath, 
Go like that and go. Yeah, like you've got to really pull it. If you go with it like that right slow, it hurts like fuck. Yeah. It's like when you get one air. If you get one air at your nose and try and pull it, that makes your eyes water. But when you've got it all and you go, it, you can't feel it. No, so, no, I, unless, it, unless it's pain level threshold is very, very low. It might be very low, but I could do it. How about that? First time you put it up and it goes, leave it for like 90 seconds, you're like, right. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. It's, it's, it's like when you take a tooth out. You remember that tooth I pulled out of the mum? Oh, yeah. Just put a piece of string around it and yanked it. No pain with that whatsoever. Not a sausage of pain. Unless I've just got a very high pain threshold. Maybe so. Yeah, maybe so. Oh, dear. I'm, I'm talking about Ewoks. I think I've got a bit of Ewok coming on and all I can fear my hair. Yeah, so I. I need to do mine. Yeah. I've got, I can get out of them now and pull the fuckers. In fact, I'm going to have some plaits in after. Let me go and put them over your head. Yeah, Paul has just admitted he, he did it slow. That's oh, the no, yank. You've got to yank it as fast as you can. Yeah. And you will feel no pain whatsoever. Yeah, <laughs> give it a good give it a good yank. Deep yeah. breath. Deep breath. It's the first one that you go, you think, oh, shit, I'm, 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 oh, it's going to kill me. And then you do it and you think, has it worked? You look you got a job on the stick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. It's good. It is good. It does clear them up. My ear ones, I find, that you end up with residue in your ear. Oh, yeah. Well, that's just because it's shaping your ear like, isn't it? Yeah, you've got to keep picking it out for about an hour later. Yeah, you pick little little bits out. But it does work, and, it's, and it lasts for a good six weeks or so, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It does, does a yeah. while. And if and if you if you shave it, because everybody's got to get rid of it, because you do look a twat when you've got this thing coming out of your ear. Yeah. If you if you shave it, what happens then is it comes back and it's worse because it's like spiky. Yeah. And, you, and you're forever going like this, be it then, feeling at it. So you're better off just wanking it out. Yeah, just get it out. <laughs> oh, Not nice. really get it out, but get it out. Tell man saying, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just put a laughing in here. I can never remember who Tetley Man is. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> So are you all right? How's, how's your mum? Is she all right? She's doing very good, yeah. I've left her at home today. Um, I was going to go flying, actually, the other day, but it's uh, been a bit too bright for me because it makes me ice stream. Yeah, she's um, she's looking after tortoise today. Right. I'm no doubt she's watching Cora, although I don't know if it's necessarily been on this week. I think Coronation Street's been off. Oh, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they, had to, they had to change it, didn't they? Because of, obviously, social distancing. Well, the episodes that are on currently are shot about eight weeks ago, aren't they? Yeah. So now there'll be a gap. But I think they've been putting less on, uh, because it's usually on every fucking day, like, isn't it? They yeah. put less on to make what they've got last longer. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's what they've been doing, because on there they're not social distancing, but of course that was filmed months ago. Yeah. Two months ago. Uh, but there's going, to be a, there's going to be a point where there's, there is no filming being done, isn't there? Yeah. So it's going to have to... It's going to, have to Stop a summit at some point. Well, unless they do like a Blair Witch with one person with a camera, and yeah, two people two meters away from each other talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This makes me laugh out here when they all gas machine and they're all two two meters away from each other. Then they go go up to the machine and start to the same buttons. Yeah, <laughs> mate. I tell you what, honestly, I'm doing some um, servicing on Belle Isle in Leeds. Some of them just don't get social distancing at all. No, I saw I saw a little film clip of the day, um, and it must have been taken recently because a couple of them had face masks on, uh, and it were in this country, and it were they were actually all Asians, um, and they were all just queuing up to get into the shop or whatever it was they were queuing up for, but they're all just stood next to each other, yeah. no no distancing whatsoever, and really, it turns out according to the stats that that's coming out that it affects. Uh, Asians and African type people more than it affects white people. Right. Well, they're actually more at risk to start with. And it's also affecting more men than women. Right. So if you're an Asian man or an African man, you're more at risk than other members of the population just because that's what you are. This is what's coming out from the stats. Um, yeah. but, a, but there is a lot of that come from America. But in America, there's a lot more inequality, like, isn't there? Yeah. Between 
what as they care African American and, and white folk, if you like. So the African Americans have not necessarily got access to better or the same health care as yeah. the white people. So I think some of that could be that as well. But that's generally speaking what's coming out from these stats is it affects coloured folk, we'll say, more than white folk. Yeah, I won't believe all Americans say at the moment. Well, that won't be off America. I, these are off because I, I'm interested in all this kind of thing because I, I love all this. I mean, it is, a, it is an incredible thing, this virus, really, in a way, in the way that it's evolving. It's now started to evolve, which is again what I've said at the beginning. Mm. It's going to evolve because it's evolution and it's trying to find the best way it can do what it does, which is basically infect. Yeah. But there's also been more reviews, uh, more reports from WHO, the World Health Organization, saying that just because you've had the COVID virus don't mean that you're going to be protected from getting it again because it doesn't necessarily give you antibodies. Yeah. So that's why some of these people in like China and Japan and other countries are saying that they've been cured and then they've got it again. Yeah, they've had a 50% rise in Wu-Tang again, haven't they? Yeah. That's because they've just let me... This is what I said here. This, this, all this social distancing... It's not to do with trying to stop the virus because you're not going to stop it. It's out. It's it's like saying we're going to stop it raining. No, you can't stop it raining. It's going to rain. Yeah. The, the, what the what all this social distancing and that is about is to slow the number of people going into hospital so that they're not all going in at once yeah. and overwhelming it. Yeah. We want a steady trickle of people at hospital. Yeah. So that's what this is about. It's not about stopping the virus. We're all going to end up getting it. It's it's just inevitable. You're either going to survive it or you're not. But if everybody gets it at once, yeah, no way the hospital is going to be able to cope. I mean, no. they're already pushing it now, like, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But all this, uh, all this protective equipment that nobody can get out of that's, I mean, that's disgusting, isn't it, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I've got, I wear a mask when I go in people's houses. We can't get them. I have to no. use the same one. Do you know what I mean? But you're not, I mean, but you're not, I mean, you're defeating the object to exercise, aren't you? Because when you take the mask off, you're touching it with your hands, yeah, and then you put it back on again. It's more to protect them than to pe protect me. Yeah, well, apparently masks are not that good at stopping you from getting it, but they're but they're very good at stopping you from passing it on. Yes, and that's why Which we wear it. So if I sneeze or cough, yeah. I'm not passing it yeah. on to the person in the house. I mean, they're saying people shouldn't be wearing masks. Well, people should be wearing masks, not to stop you from getting it, but to stop you from passing it on. Yeah, exactly. That's the same shit, different wrapper. It's just in reverse, isn't it? Might not yeah. stop you from getting it, but the person that's gonna you're gonna be getting it off might not have given you it if they'd have had a fucking mask on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, exactly. so that's why that's why I put a mask on. I sanitize my hands before I go in. Yeah, put my gloves on. Put my mask on. Once I've done, my gloves come off. Thrown in a box, and then I sanitize my hands again, and mask comes off. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not passing it on to anybody else in, in property then. Yeah. It's uh, it's very difficult. And, but I think that the, the government are saying to people, don't bother wearing masks because basically there isn't enough on them. Because mm. if people did start wearing masks, they'd be absolutely none left, wouldn't they? For hospitals and that. There's no left now, mate. There's yeah. no left now. You can't get them. No. You can't get I'll, them. I ordered... Yeah. <laughs> I ordered some... Do you know these ninja masks off of uh, eBay yeah. that everybody's wearing? These black ones... Yeah. They took them all off. You can't get them. All gone. eBay have stopped selling. eBay have stopped you selling them. Oh, is that probably to stop you from keep the supply chain for medics and that? Honestly, I've tried. I've I've ordered twice now to get some of them where you yeah. put some paper filters in. Yeah, which is just as good, and you just can't get them. I've yeah. I've been knocked back. I've ordered them, and then suddenly eBay have sent. Oh, this has been taken off. Um, we've refunded your money. Yeah. Well, apparently, it doesn't actually need to be a mask. It doesn't need to be an N95 mask that you mm. wear. You can wear a snood type thing. You know that we've, we've got them here where you slide it over here like a tube and it comes yeah. up to like, when you're riding by. That is enough. It's basically to stop any particles leaving your gob out. Yeah, well, that's what these were. That's what these were, like them ones. Yeah, that's, that's, all, it, that's all it needs. Yeah. And they were washable, so I thought, I can wash them when I get home. But... You can't get them. Daniel Hour says, uh, I can understand why your employer makes you wear a mask, but what's your excuse for wearing all that one-piece one, one piece rubber suit? A oh, no, I'll wear a rubber suit. <laughs> <laughs> Edmondson, I don't know what that is. That's Foxy. 
Uh, Alan actually says he bought some sanitizer from chemist last week. Seven pound for hundred mil. Seven. Wow. Why don't you just go and get yourself a bottle of gin and use that instead? Because I'd rather drink it. <laughs> I'd rather drink gin. I know, but oh, seven yeah. pounds for hundred mil. That's seventy quid a litre. You can get Glenfiddich for less than that. <laughs> Yeah, it's hand sanitizer at the moment, I think, but I've uh, I've uh, found some that I can get. We met some here. I met some with, with VG, uh, not VG, they have VG, PG and the alcohol. Yeah, uh, that's all it is. That's Yeah, but it, it's, the, you use it and it's it's fine, but you, you get the VG. Yeah, it's in it, aloe vera. Aloe vera, we haven't got no aloe vera. Yeah, it's aloe vera and 70% rubbing alcohol yeah well we've got the alcohol which is what we use so we've got it in a bottle so i spray my hands like yeah it's, just, it's the same thing it's just pure but it, it dries your skin up like a bugger <laughs> <laughs> uh, most of the sellers on ebay are from china <laughs> you get it from them and you're dead in here <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah as long as you're all right as long as you don't lick it <laughs> yeah, yeah i sent a picture of a bloke in in one of hazards and that and he got black gloves on, and he was pushing his trolley, holding his trolley on, and he got one glove in his gun. Yeah, <laughs> phone. phone. Yeah, yeah, I've seen them. <laughs> Completely missed the point, Cock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Vera. <laughs> okay, you know. Right, well, it's time for me to uh, get on with some work, I think. Yeah, I need to do my Saturday cleaning jobs. Saturday cleaning jobs. I've got, I've got some stickers to put on back door because most people could come into the side door, even though I've told them it's the back door because there's yeah. no different side and back. So I've got a little sticker saying, No, this is not the back door. That's the back door. <laughs> <laughs> back door. Arrow, yeah, back door. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> I've got all sorts of to do here that I never got them this morning. Uh, I think we've covered all the bases though. Um, I've told you about the nutrients that uh, one of my customers wanted to know about, which is the uh, root stimulants and, and stuff like that. I've shown you the video, I've shown you the pots. Oh, that's a little bit. And if anybody wants any mugs, you can get them. You can, of course, also get the indestructible ones, which are rather nice. Um, that's about it, really. So I'm going to be seeing you next Saturday. Uh, it'll be the same time. And you might see me on Benny's show. Yeah, Wednesday night, nine Wednesday o'clock. Night, nine o'clock. It's always too fucking late for me. Get over. <laughs> you don't know what else to do. It comes on at bedtime. <laughs> oh, just a minute. We've got one here. We've got My Wife is Cashier at Convenience Store. She made a mask out of an old black t shirt. She cut up. Not exactly how it, she did it, but it was the same sleeve. It's, yeah, it's, it's basically just a, it's just a shield. Yeah. And it's not to stop you from getting it, it's to stop you from passing it on. I think, I, personally, personally, I think if everybody wore a mask or a face cover of some description, I think this would go a lot smoother. Yeah. But unfortunately, there just isn't enough masks for people to do it. So, but like I say, you can use these fucking smooth things yeah. or just a hanky, a scarf or anything. It's just to stop the yeah. virus coming out of your mouth. Yeah, on there's people. a load on, online to see about making an homemade mask. Yeah, there is. There's loads of places. Yeah. Right, well, I'm going to see you next Saturday, and I'm going to see you on Wednesday then, Benny. Wednesday night, yeah, I'll send you Zoom room thing for on an email. Yeah. All it's right, okay. thank you very much for having me on. And I'll probably, Ooh. if it's open, oh, it's open. I'll see you next Saturday, because I'm doing jack all else. <laughs> <laughs> see you later then. All right, stay safe, everyone. See you later. And that's adios to Benny. <laughs> and Johnny is saying adios. Uh, and I'm going to be saying it now. So, yeah, that's me finished. Really enjoyed today's show. We've been on an hour and 40 minutes. Jesus Christ. I can't have rant, can't I? Uh, it's always nice to see people on. It's always nice to have Benny on and our Grant. Grant is becoming a regular fixture, which is what we like. Uh, we do like regular fixtures. Uh, so I'll see you later. Ta-ta. You stay safe. <laughs>